I knew I heard a train. I knew I did. Ultra metal. I knew I heard a train. I suspect, being it's Monday, they're gonna stop and grab these cars. What do you wanna bet? How are you guys doing? Yes, I know I haven't posted the video in, well, a few days, I guess. Hey, I wanna give a quick shout out to Mike Mortier and George Whitehead. I know I haven't mentioned you guys, but you guys did give me a donation and I thank you very much. The link is down below. If you feel like you want to donate, you don't have to, but if you want to, it's there. So thank you those guys. Mark, George, I do appreciate it. I just assume that because it's Monday, the recycling yard uh, probably has a load to pull out. And at the speed they're going, uh, well, I'm thinking that might be the case. Yep. Go in there, hook up to the full cars, pull them out, tuck them on his train, tuck the empties in, and off he'll be going.
can't see much action on this side. Let's walk back to the other side. So I'll tell you, I've been up to Lake Superior probably four times since my last video I put out. I'm sure a few of you are aware that uh, besides YouTube, I sell fluorescent sodalite, which I call ember lights, on Etsy. They are a rock that glows under UV lights at night. Anyway, I've been going up and hunting them at night, and plus I've been buying them by the pound. And I'm gonna I'm gonna jump in my car and go north a little bit and catch them across the crossing. I just got brand new tires put on the front of this car. It drives a little better. I thought I needed brakes, but my man tells me I don't need brakes. My back brakes actually weren't working the right way and they are now, so I actually have good brakes. But I have a broken shock, or actually a broken spring on the back left, and a broken shock on the back right. So this car is going back into the shop. Oh well, you know, it's the price you pay. Uh, like I said, I go to Lake Superior at least once a week, which is three hours each direction of my travel, plus chasing this train all over. I, I've been beating this car a little bit. Anyway, guys, again, uh, thank you to those two for those kind donations. Uh, that's pretty much where those donations are going, are uh, into my travels, into my car, um, and everything else. Let's see if I can squeeze by this guy. Oh. Who knew? Who knew who that person was? Anyway. We're gonna squeeze down here. Catch this train coming northbound. See what kind of freight they got. Again, guys, thanks a lot for watching. Thanks for sticking around. I, there really has not been very much train action in the last uh, in the last few weeks. I, I'm not really sure what's been going on, but we're gonna come over here and catch them coming across.
Hopefully there'll be some more videos uh, this week. I've actually been pretty surprised on the lack of trains. I know what you're thinking. I'm watching for it too. I didn't see the track jump, maybe they fixed it. I'd rather they fix things. Anyway, I'm gonna step back just a little bit and give you the bigger perspective. myself sometimes I'm watching the train I'm not watching my camera oh man I wish you could smell what I'm smelling right now fresh pine Oh my God, I thought it was Christmas all over again. Come down here with some grease and grease the train track. How do you think that would work out? Do you think that would help them for the squeaks or? Uh... Yeah, I know. I would get in trouble. Better not do that. Well, big thanks, guys, for watching this video. Quick little switch at Ultra Metal. Swapping around a couple of cars and heading north. Escanaba, Lakesfield Railroad. Let's see if Fred is back here. Oh yeah, Freddy. Thanks guys, you know what to do. Hit that thumbs up. Hit that subscribe button if you haven't, because many of you have not, but thank you to all of you who have. Make a comment below. What are your plans this spring? Have you planted a garden yet? Tell me, have you? Have you planted a garden yet? 